Hey everybody, this is Gabe, just coming in here to show you a little bit of the new drawings tool that is coming out. Um, it's really exciting. The goal here is to enable our customers to store their drawings on <clears throat> BuildOps, for them to be able to upload PDF, uh, whole PDF sets and have it break it out into individual sheets. Then we'll use OCR uh, capabilities to actually pull the sheet title and sheet name um, so that those can then um, auto name them for everybody and then we'll be able to access those documents you'll be able to see previous revisions do markups and then um, by the end of the month with mobile release we'll have the ability to view those in the field and actually mark up and have those markups save out for uh, the you know the whole team to view so jumping in going into any project this is now in the files section so we'll have this files and drawings right here we can go ahead and upload any drawing set. So we can come in here and what we're looking for is anything that's, you know, we've got maybe, uh, you know, here's a multi-page uh, mechanical drawing set. We can upload this. Now we have a drawing set. And so this is, you know, um, what kind of uh, set was sent out. So this might be bid set or 30% design or issue for construction set. Um, and these are, you know, if you think about it in software, it's kind of like fixed version. So this is a, um, a set that you can create. So you can pick an existing one uh, if it's, you know, you, you broke it up into multiple or you can do a, um, a, a new set, create a new set. We'll pick the date for this. And this date is important because it helps determine, you know, we, we use this to deter determine what the latest revision is. So we know this has happened on April. And then we can create drawing disciplines. So uh, if you want, you can actually create... Um, Maybe this is an architectural um, set. We can do that. Um, you can create multiple, and these will be able to uh, save throughout. Um, on this first iteration, we won't have the ability to group by discipline, but that's the goal here as we get um, more upgraded XGrid capabilities to be able to group by um, discipline as well. So we'll go ahead and upload this. So this is going to now process this document. And we have about a 200 megabyte limit on uploading drawings. We did some research with customers, didn't really find anything above 200 megabytes. So you can upload up to a 200 megabyte drawing set. And then what will happen is it's going to go ahead and, and process for a minute. And then it'll tell you how many sheets to review. So now once you're ready, you go ahead and press review now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to tell the, the um, software where to actually look to find sheet numbers and sheet names. So here we'll go sheet number and we can select this and then we, well, let's do, yep. Yeah, so we can actually set a box to say, okay, so I'm going to set this box to this whole area. So it knows where to look. And then for sheet name, we can go ahead and pull this and confirm. And so now it's going to use that and use that to process all of the sheets that it's got in this set. And then we'll see uh, what's going to happen here. So. We'll come in here and it will now all of these titles get populated. Now you may find somewhere it didn't know what was going on. We'll, we can go through and confirm those. So when we go through each sheet, we can see sheet number, sheet name. These all look good. We could change the discipline if we wanted. We can confirm individual sheets and we can actually delete sheets if we wanted to out of the set. Um, and that won't, you know, it'll basically be gone forever unless you re-upload the set. And then maybe we want to come in here. All these look good, but I want to, I want to do this one in here. So M011, and then this is the schedule sheet. And um, we can confirm that. And then like this one, this number looks kind of wrong to me. I want M012, so we can confirm that. And so we can do this going through and just making sure everything looks good. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm all. And then this will finish my review, and those will all populate in here for us. We can then go into any of these sheets. We can go through. We can um, mark up with all the PDF Tron capability that we've got. You may know from form section. We can also um, see previous revisions if we had more. And we can jump to other sheets. We can move through the sets, um, save our markups. All this is is a uh, ability to do this. We can uh, you know delete an individual revision. Um, so the ability to basically mark up these drawings, save it in, have this available for the field. This is all, you know, built into this capabilities here. Um, and 
one last thing we can show you is if you were to upload, you know, let's say the same set again, or we can do a different set, um, we can uh, we can upload that, and then it will take a, a look and and if they have the, share the same sheet number, then it'll treat it as a revision. So um, let's say we just do uh, this. Let's say this is 30% design, and this one is on this here, and we'll keep the same set. We can upload that, and it'll process it. You know, we can skip calibration if we don't like it. You know, and I'm actually going to do that because I want to make it think that this is uh, an existing sheet. So we can come in here and we can change this sheet number. So let's say we want to pick an existing sheet number that we already have. And maybe we call this, you know, specifications M003. What will happen when we confirm the sheet is it will treat this. Now it knows that we had a previous drawing here, this bid set one. This is now the 30% design. We can finish this review. We'll see that that new date will reflect right up here. We can go in here and we can see this latest revision. And we can go back to a previous version if we had that. So this is going to allow us to then have those revisions. They'll come in, they'll show the previous revisions, uh, future er, and the most current one. And in the field, they'll only see the most current revision. So this is really powerful stuff to make sure the field's always building what they need to be building, and then also keeping track of all the drawings. Thanks, everybody.